Welcome back everyone. Hope you guys are doing good and having a great week. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, hope you guys are having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects. And without further ado, let's get over here to mine. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to pull out all the radishes from the uh, solar powered aquaponic system. And we're going to replant. So uh, yeah, I'll take you guys with me over to, and we'll uh, take this little journey together. Uh, now. Uh, since I do live in the desert, uh, radishes are difficult to grow in the summertime here, so about half of them don't really develop, so uh, we'll just see what happens. I pulled out a couple this morning for breakfast and ate them, and they were good, so let's head on over and see what we can come up with. Alright, so we're going to do some... Uh, high speed radish pulling right now so hold on to your bridges alright so we had some technical difficulties <laughs> uh, as we often do with the camera uh, it is quite warm so uh, I'm not sure what footage I did capture with all that so I'll try to do a little edit and put the put it together the best I can and then uh, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like afterwards I pulled out all the radishes and I did harvest them all um, oh I forgot to grab those let me go grab those I'll be right back all right so we're back here's what I wound up getting uh, maybe a half a pound maybe a pound some really good colors in there uh, nice pink and deep reds and uh, some really dark dark reds I think the uh, the darker ones might be spicier but that's all right I like it hot I love spicy foods and I love hot peppers and hot radishes so they are really good so I'm gonna show you guys what I did over here um, I don't know if I got this on film but I had noticed that the uh, solar pump had stopped working but that's okay it just got clogged up so uh, I cleaned that out and have it up and running again and if you notice there was another pump uh, with the cord coming out of the tank earlier. I mean, it's still there. It's not plugged in or anything. I was just using that to uh, cheat because I wanted to work on the, uh, the flood and drain system at nighttime. And obviously the solar panel doesn't work, so I can't test the water flow. So I had an electric pump in there just to test that out. If you're wondering what that was, I'm not cheating. All right, so already got the radishes out I did take some cuttings of some uh, some more basil and pop those in there I might do that so get some more of those and do that and I did plant out some new radishes I think I might just take uh, maybe I'll take this branch right here just pinch it off and just stick it in like that that's exactly how I grew these four right here. I took these cuttings from a basil plant that's over there and I just did that. And then what I'll do is I'll keep this shade over them for the next week or so so that they can, uh, so they don't get cooked in the sun. So there we go. All the radishes cleaned out. Got some new basil plants planted. See this one's already getting affected by the heat so we need to get these covered up. So I will do that right now. Put a couple of blocks up here first. Get my sunglasses. So I'm gonna try to do this without bothering the uh, the taller basil plants there. So we'll get these high up as possible with a couple of blocks, and then just bridge it across. Shade. All right, so that's that for that project. And then uh, I did throw the uh, some of the radishes down here. I wish I could have got it on video, but some of the uh, some of the bulbs were uh, being fought over by the fish. The fish were fighting over the radish bulbs. Um, I think I got some. Uh, some peppers over here flowering. Got some jalapenos flowering. Let's check out the floating raft. Yeah, some of these are growing pretty good. 
Yeah, we have a... Uh, it looks like they're dropping too though, so it's still pretty warm out. Let's check the temperature right now. It's about 108. I don't know if you can see that or not. But here's the mother basil plant. This is where all those other basil plants came from. Cuttings off of this guy. And we got a lot of stuff in here. These need to get uncovered. So we'll pull this netting off and see what it looks like. I think that's some bok choy. Let's see, none of these uh, other ones are ready to uncover yet. Looks like this one didn't make it. That's all right. This one died as well, it looks like. That's also all right, it happens. We have uh, successes and we have failures. That's part of gardening, folks. Get the good and the bad. Oh, check out these different, uh, so these uh, corn plants over here are pollinating, or uh, pollinating. Uh, <laughs> they're ready to pollinate, so. We have different colors here, so. I forget what the name of this is, I always forget. So this one's red, and this one's black. And this one's yellow. We've got some weird looking bug up here. It looks like a shrimp with legs, or a land shrimp, I should say. Shrimp, shrimp do have legs. I don't know what that is. It looks like a beetle of some kind, but it doesn't have like a mouth, like a normal beetle. And I don't see any damage, so maybe it's a predatory insect, so. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. Oh, it just flew away. But yeah, we'll leave that thing alone. He doesn't look like he's hurting the plants. The corn. Go check out the tomatoes. So these guys are doing good. Got the bell peppers. They're starting to flower. Um, I don't see any flowers dropping off of it, so that's a good sign. Same with the tomatoes. The tomatoes are starting to flower. You can see there. Big Zach has some flowers up here. So probably have some tomatoes here in the next month or so so if you guys have any questions or comments pop those down at the bottom hit that like button subscribe click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get a notification each time you upload each time you upload a video each time I upload a video you'll get a notification and uh, want to do a special shout out to my patrons thank you guys I appreciate you I'll put their information down in the description and uh, yeah Without further ado, well, I already said that. Never mind. Uh, as always, keep building. It's been so long since I've done a video. I've been so busy with work, I forgot what my little quote was or my saying. <laughs> so, here you go, guys. See how big the fish are getting. They were very curious.